Ryan, the winning goal on your 50th appearance for Watford, how good does that feel? Yeah, you know, uh, obviously today I didn't uh, start the game, but I knew uh, when I came when I had to show what I can do and uh, just prove why I should be playing. And uh, Tom obviously gave me the chance at half-time to come on. And yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing feeling, especially on my 50th appearance. And to do it at home, it's, it's even better. Can you talk us through the goal? Um, I saw, I think it was Ismar uh, running with the ball and I saw a big gap between the, the centre-back and the, the, the full-back so I knew if I was to run uh, diagonally into the space, uh, Ish will play me the ball and then I knew that I just had to get my head over the ball and strike a cross goal. You've obviously an attacking full-back, you like getting in the attacking positions, um, is that something you really enjoy getting up the pitch? Yeah, you know, every, every full-back uh, enjoys enjoys getting forward because there's there's goals there to be scored and chances to be created but you also have to do the the dirty work in defending and running back as well for the team. And obviously it's uh, provided a 1-0 victory for Watford, the first home win in the league since November so um, the players must be buzzing that that uh, yeah, record has gone. Uh, we knew that um, as our last game at home we had to, to show the fans uh, what they wanted to see. Obviously no one wants to go out uh, last game of the season at home and end up losing so this game uh, is a massive one for us in our eyes because we gave the fans uh, what they wanted for the last home game of the season. When you're waiting on the bench to come on is that a frustrating time for you or you're just trying to get in the zone for when you are called upon? Yeah of course it's uh, frustrating everyone wants to play uh, every game and every minute of the of the season but um, I feel like personally uh, this has been a good first season for me I played uh, a lot of games and I've developed over time and there's also a lot of things that I can improve but um, yeah it is frustrating being on the bench but when you do come on you have to just show show your abilities. Yeah like you say it's your first uh, pro season um, how would you sum it up how would you look, look back on it? Yeah it's a positive one for me um, my family is very proud and all my friends and personally I'm, I'm proud of myself as well because there's been a lot of moments during the season where I may I've not had maybe the confidence that I wanted or the belief in, in playing, but I still got the game, the game time that I wanted. And I just went game by game and tried to do the best that I could. Do you think it makes you stronger and better as a player, those tough moments, because you learn to sort of bounce back from it? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, as a player, uh, when you do have those down moments, you just sort of have to get past them and try and, try and do your best to overcome them. Otherwise, eventually they'll just bring you down and probably affect your, your performances in, in general and you won't uh, overcome uh, the bad times but as a result of me having those bad times I feel like I've handled them quite well and got through it. And what are your hopes for next season now with Tom Cleverley as the permanent head coach? We all want to get promoted, I know it's not as easy as, as I said but we know as, if we work as a team and work hard then it can be achieved. Thanks very much Ryan.